<laughs> Are you ready? All right. Oh my God. So now we're starting to cut these studs. It's a little tricky because we have to make sure that the angle is precise and we have to make sure that the length is precise so that everything lines up the way we want it to on the roof line. George was nice enough to map everything out for us in SketchUp. So we know exactly what lengths they're supposed to be down to the, I don't know, 128th Gazillion of an inch. inch. Yeah, too much, too finite. Yeah, we've simplified it to eighths. But other than that, we want to make sure these are really accurate. So one of the things that will make our lives as easy as possible and easy as good is to get this wall as far as we can while it's horizontal mm -hmm. before we stand it up. Um, so we're going to get siding on it, but what I want to do here is this is the top plate and then there's a double plate that still goes on top of this. On the adjacent wall, its top plate comes over this one and that ties the corner together. So to measure, to know the length of this doubler, we need to come in three and a half from the end. This represents the width of this piece and then we'll cut a piece that goes from here. There's a mark already on the other end. We'll cut a piece that's there and it's okay for this doubler to be a little short, but if it's too long, it'll interfere with us getting the other one on. Right. All right. So if you go there and hold that. Down here? It's on the face, yep. So if you can cut us, you know what, a, a 12 footer. So if you do 144 and a quarter, that'd be perfect, yep. So we've got all the studs together for this wall, but before we start putting the siding on, we just want to double check and make sure that it's square. So we're going to use that old uh, Pythagorean theorem. We've measured six feet, eight feet, and now we're checking to make sure that we are 10 feet right here. And if we're square, then we're good to put the walls on. That's good. All right. Once we've made sure that the framing is square, we're ready to start putting the siding on the walls. Now the siding is going to make the walls rigid, so then they're gonna stay square as we lift them up into place. We're using a spacer block here to make sure that we get the spacing right at the bottom of the siding. When we lift the wall into place, we want the siding to hang down over the edge of the flooring. At the very top of the siding, we're putting in a drip edge. This is gonna ensure that water runs over the top of the siding and doesn't get in behind it. Now we're leaving the top part of the wall open for now until I have a chance to go to the store and buy some clear roofing material that I'm gonna use up here at the top. That'll allow light to come in once the shed is constructed. I learned this pretty neat trick from George about how to lift up an entire wall at once by, <laughs> by sticking the forked end of the hammer in and yep. This wall is not light, so make <laughs> if you ever end up doing something like this, make sure you're lifting with your knees and not with your back. Also make sure you have some good help. Once we get the wall lifted up, we need to use a little bit of uh, persuading to make sure that it's exactly in the right spot. I want to make sure that the bottom plate is lining up with either end of the flooring and with the decking. We want to make sure that the siding is just flush against the side of the flooring. And we're going to leave everything uh, not exactly plumb. We want to angle it out slightly. So both of the side walls of the shed are going to be angled out so that when we then put the back wall and the front wall in, we just tilt everything forward a little bit, tack it on there, and it's all in place. All right. Oh! <laughs> 
So now that we have somewhat of a system for constructing these walls, uh, we're just going to keep it moving. Now the, the right side of the shed is actually going to have a window on it. So we've measured how high we want that window to be. And we're going to go ahead and frame it in and attach the window before we lift the wall into place. So everything's going to be there. We're putting some extra reinforcement on the top and the bottom. We want to have the header on the top of the window. Now this might be a little bit of an overbuild for Charleston, South Carolina. But uh, you know, George being from Wisconsin is, is used to um, building roofs that can deal with snow loads. So, you know, I'm all in favor of overbuilding rather than underbuilding. This shed is not gonna be coming down anytime soon. We've used a couple of two by eights and tacked them together. And that's what's gonna be up at the top of the window there. Once we get the window in place and we've made sure that it's square with the side of the wall, then we're gonna go ahead and tack it in. After we've used the fins to attach the window to the side wall, I'm going to use this construction tape here, and that's going to provide a nice seal between the window and the wall to keep any water from getting in behind there. After we've used our Pythagorean theorem to check and make sure that our wall is square, we're going to go ahead and attach the siding again. Once we lifted this wall into place, it was obvious that a few limbs on my tree here were going to be in our way. We have one more wall to go. We have three up and they're attached to each other and to the floor. And everything is plumb. Everything's plumb. Everything's square. We have uh, established where the rough opening is going to be for the doors that are going to be on the front and the center. And we're just finishing attaching that to the frame now and then we'll be ready to lift up this last wall. That's a big moment. Mm -hmm. It's going to be enclosed. Do only the top and then I'm going to force, I'm going to rack the bottom a little. You want it all flush on the front? Yep. And we'll start with...
Well, it's the end of our second full day. And no we way. have walls. <laughs> we got a lot done. Yeah. I think only a little bit of blood was shed and all of it was yours. Yes. In like three <laughs> spots. I'm good at that though. Yeah. Um, I think it went well. Yeah, so the walls, the walls are up and all the siding is done. The window is in. The rough opening is here for the door. Um, so the next thing is put a lid on it, man. Yeah. All we have to do is the roof. And then right after we're done with the roof, George is going to help me make a rooftop deck. Yeah, whatever. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to screen in the porch. You're so funny. Thanks for watching, guys. Check in for the uh, next installment when we put a roof on this thing. Cap it. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, I do hope that you'll subscribe and please don't forget to hit the little notifications bell to let you know the next time I post more videos. I would like to give an enormous thank you to all of my Patreon members. Your support is greatly appreciated, especially in these uncertain times, and every little bit helps us to continue to provide high quality photos and videos for YouTube, Instagram, and Patreon. A big shout out to my top tier patrons, Alan Valley, Erica Vane, Chris Jones, Andrew Needle, John Peckham, Andrew Thies, Chris Cairns, Robert Hunt, Evan Hoffman, and Jim Tate. Thank you so much. If you would like a heads up before the rest of the world about when I schedule more classes or access to exclusive unedited interviews, um, and other photos and videos, please check out my Patreon. And as always, the links are down below this video. Till next time, y'all, I hope you're all staying safe, happy, healthy, and most of all, sane. See ya.